Hello everyone. So for option number two, when you have finished your business card design, the next project you're going to do is the letterhead design. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up, show you what that's all about. Um, for the letterhead for the identity package, you'll see um, in the instructions that I have in classroom, you'll see some examples. And Letterhead is essentially um, just something you write letters on that has, um, you know, usually contact information like an address or phone number, something like that. And it has your logo, uh, might have your name if you're doing uh, an identity package for yourself. And then the rest is just blank area. You might also have something around the borders, something to uh, delineate space or make things look more visually interesting. And you can see there's some uh, examples of some of my students' past work on this. You can also have a really faint background, as long as it would be light enough that you could write over the top of it. But you'll see examples in all of these, uh, or see examples of uh, these different types of letterhead um, down at the bottom of the instructions here. So uh, just take a look at that, and I'm going to show you um how to do this i'll open up the templates and show you how to do it i'll use photoshop for an example um photoshop and photo p uh, illustrator um you guys uh, have a similar template i'll show you the template but um you'll be working differently in that as well um, so i'm going to go ahead and download the template which all i did for your photoshop template was created an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper size canvas and then had some space on here showing you where the header area is and the footer area is um, but um, obviously you're not bound to that you could do it in a different way if you want to get creative but I'm gonna go ahead and download this and I will start off in Photoshop just to show you so I have my guide here, but um, I'm honestly I'm not going to uh, stick to it necessarily. I can, or I'm going to make it disappear in a minute. I'm just going to drag some guides down here just to mark my area so I know about where it is, um, just in case I want to keep it. So first thing it definitely needs to have is your logo. So if you have your logo, um, you can either open it up in a separate tab and bring it in. Or you can, um, so you can go file open and then copy it from your other tab and bring it in. Or you can drag and drop if you're working with Photoshop. Photo P, you're just going to have to go to file open. So I'm going to show you this for the sake of those people working with Photo P, how to bring your whole file over. I'm going to go ahead and open my logo, which is on my desktop. Um... Let me find it. Actually, I might have, uh, there it is right there. So I have my logo here. And if I go to select all and then edit, copy merged. And you can do that in Photo P as well. And then go into here and go edit, paste. I have my logo right here. Um, there's lots of, you know, different layouts you could you could do for this. Like I could put my logo up front and center. I could do it in the upper left. I could just do something in the lower right and leave the rest white. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just do more of a traditional look, and I'll have mine up here. And then um, I want to put in some other stuff just to make it look more visually interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and do a layer. I'll do like a little header area here. And I'm just doing that by drawing a rectangle from the shape tools area down here and you can see I just covered up my other thing but I'll drag it below my layer one so that it's behind it and right now it's white because my foreground color was white so if I go in and go to FX I can choose gradients I could do um, I don't know why it's not previewing oh sorry it's on color I could do gradients I could um, let me do I'll do a linear gradient and I'll do it from left to right. There you go. I could do gradients. I could make it, I can adjust that in there. 
Uh, I'll choose a different gradient that goes better with my color scheme though. I do like this light blue. And then I could even, like, if I wanted to, I could create, like, a drop shadow or something so it separates the space. I could do a stroke. I could do, um, you know, something with a bevel. Whatever. Just something to kind of make that space show up. And then I can go in and add in uh, my contact info or however I want it to read. So... Um, obviously, if this is letterhead for an organization, you probably want to have the organization name somewhere in there. I'm going to go, I'm going to use my medicine dropper on the color picker to choose kind of a darker blue to go over this. And I'm going to type it down here first. I'm going to just type in Andy Jeter. Whoops. Sorry if that was loud. <laughs> Things are falling, and I'm going to put that up here. Maybe I'll do like in the center. And I use the font that I like, but if you, you know, need to choose a font, obviously you can do that up there in both programs. I'm going to resize this um, in a minute and make it bigger than the other stuff, but then I want to have my contact info. So this I might actually, I'll do a different font, um, I'll do Teuton Fet, and I'll just make mine say whatever, one, two, three, four, Northwest de Navarra. That's not the school's address, but de Navarra Drive. I just made up some numbers. It's got our road name, at least. And then I'll do Cape Coral, Florida. I'll just do Florida one two three four five six, and then I can put that underneath my name here. Resize to go in there. Um, I also probably want to have like my title, what I am. Um, so I'm gonna put in freelance graphic designer and try to make that fit underneath so now you get the full drift of who I am and what my address is I might also have my phone number underneath that but for the sake of showing you this example um, you know this is kind of a bland letterhead as far as I'm concerned there's not a lot going on but um, you know this would suffice it's it's functional the other thing I would do, um, or I want to show you really quick, is how to make a watermark with your logo. So if you wanted to have a copy of your logo across the backdrop here, and you wanted to make it so it was really light, but, you know, it's there, you can just change the opacity so people could still type over or write over your letterhead but it has your um, logo in there as a watermark, so it's it's kind of more branding your letterhead. Um, if I wanted to put a duplicate of this at the bottom for the footer, I could do that. I could even put in like, okay, I'm going to put in my website here, www.mywebsite.com. And I could throw that down there, whatever. Uh, you know, information you had in your design. And that's that. So I just go to File, Save As, Save on my computer, put it in my Google Classroom, and turn it in. So same thing goes. I'll show you in PhotoP really quick uh, what the template look like looks like in there. PhotoP.leeschools.net, File, Open. Locate where you got it from, so uh, I or where you saved it to, which in my case I saved it to my downloads. And again, you can turn off this guide and work right over the top of this template. Um, same thing, you could use shapes, you can use the pen tool, you bring in your logo, file open to bring in your logo, and locate it in your downloads or wherever you have it saved, 
And in my case, there it is. Select all, edit, copy merged, and then go to my original here, edit, paste. And again, I can use the move tool to move it wherever I need to. Create the rest of my letterhead and file, save as PSD. Um, the last option on here, of course, was Illustrator. Open link in new tab. And bear with me for a second. Download that. Illustrator. Just click on that. Should open it up in Illustrator, which might take us. So now I have it open here. Um, I basically set up the same thing. I just put the uh, example over here. You can't actually, there's no artboard here. The artboard's right here. Um, so I put in guides for you guys on there and you just work directly into that and of course you have similar tools as Photoshop as far as the shapes go if you wanted to create a frame or a header or a footer to bring your logo in you can drag and drop and then resize it put it wherever you want it um, and all that so then you'll just save your work and turn it in so file save as Put it in your documents or your downloads and then submit it. And that's it. Let me know if you have questions.